All right, how's it going? So today we are going to be going over how to make a image file into an SVG file so that you could put into your Fusion 360 or whatever you are using as your 3D software and be able to extrude it and make it into a 3D print. So we're gonna do something simple and we're gonna start with a Hello Kitty. Just pretty straightforward it's got pretty basic lines so it's going to be pretty easy to get a good svg file so the first thing you're going to do is you have inkscape now i love inkscape some people use adobe illustrator and it's a great tool but i think inkscape is infinitely better just in my opinion and it'll be way quicker to get what you want and it's only a couple steps so you're just gonna go to file open and I just have mine as tutorial images and let's just open Hello Kitty so you know this doesn't really matter that much not for what we're doing so here we are we have our basic image and what you're gonna do is you want to go and we're gonna basically do this what's called trace bitmap so there's a few different ways that you can get to this um this the basically you can kind of see like all these different options filters extensions objects layers views edit whatever but to get that you can go to here and click this little arrow down here and this will bring a drop down menu and you want to make sure that you select trace bitmap and that'll make it pull up to here so the next step is really simple. You click on the image and you're going to get a little uh, image right here and it's kind of going to show you a little tutor or, uh, a, a little basically preview of what you're going to be doing. And you can kind of make that a little bigger if you want so you can kind of see it. So to get the good lines, you're going to have to adjust your threshold, which is this bar right here. And you just can kind of slide this over and then slide this back and what we're trying to get is this image a nice clean image with clean lines so hit apply once you've applied this you're gonna click and you can drag this and that is an SVG vector file so you, what I like to do is then click on the image behind it you have to move this out of the way and you have to delete it and I just do that just again so I have a clean workspace so the next thing you're going to have to do is go over here and make sure that your uh, brush and stroke are selected, um, which is going to be this one right, he right here, your fill and stroke. So, you know, you can basically find that on here, fill and stroke. Once you click that, it's going to come up to here. So the next thing you're going to want to do is turn off fill. So click no paint. It's going to go blank, but then you're going to go over to stroke paint and then just hit click that now you have a clean line svg vector file you that's pretty much it what we'll do is you'll go to file save as and we're gonna save this as hello kitty svg and we're just gonna save it straight into this folder now basically from this we'll go over to fusion 360 in fusion 360 it's pretty easy to insert an SVG file. And you're just gonna have your toolbar up here, whatever, just go to insert right here. And then you're gonna go to insert SVG, insert from computer, and we're gonna go to our tutorial images. So, we'll pull up our Hello Kitty SVG and you just select your plane. It doesn't matter, it really doesn't. And you're kinda gonna see, it's huge. So you can scale this down. Uh, I'm just gonna scale it to 50%, so 0 0.50. It, again, doesn't really matter that much what your scale is, uh, unless you're trying to get an exact you know, thing, and you can measure it out or whatever. But for this purpose, we're just gonna do this nice and simple, and I just move it to the center of the workplace. Hit OK. And there you go. Now you have a vector file. So you want to finish your sketch. You click right here. And now we're done. And you can see each one of these is extrudable. 
you know, like each this, 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 whatever. So here's the next step for when you want to extrude these to so that you can, you know, 3D print and everything. And this one, I think is, again, if you're using Bamboo Studio or you're using Orca Slicer, where you want to get multiple colors out of this. And the best way to do this is to basically extrude it as a component. Now, everything that you extrude in at a time is going to be considered a component. So what I like to do is just figure out what all the colors that I want specifically to be a component. So let's say this one, this one, this one, this one. These are all going to be black. So let's just say we want that to be, let's say, three millimeters. So let's just do that. That, that. that seems like a decent height. So we're just going to hit that. And we're then going to come over to here and we're going to click instead of new body, we're going to click new component. Now, this is important because when we save it as a step file, it's going to be a lot easier to modify in Bamboo Slicer so that we can get the colors way better. So you hit OK. And bam. Now you have your first component. You can see it right here. It's done. And your next step start extruding the other thing so we're gonna do white next um, once you sometimes when you extrude it does turn off your sketch layer so go to your sketches and just make sure to turn that back on um, I, you can also turn off the component that you just extruded just so it's out of the way so you don't kind of you know go over it or whatever and so again we're just trying to get a good you know baseline for this so let's go to here and here those are going to be white so we're going to do the same thing we're going to do three millimeters we're going to go to here we're going to click new component we're going to hit okay and now we're done with this one so i'll just turn that off again now you have to be careful because if you do try to extrude and you don't make it a new component or you don't go to that drop down menu what's going to happen is it's going to join everything together and then you're just going to have a blank image so you don't want to do that like if you go you have to go down to here and you have to click new component so we're going to extrude that new component three millimeters okay and then what i like to do is then turn everything on and we're going to actually do that one too i missed it so let's go to here extrude and so like when you hit that see how it wants to join you do not want that to happen so you have to go new component okay so here you go now you have a setup this is pretty simple and this works pretty well um and what you're going to then do is you're going to go to this and you're going to export and you need to export this as a step file so you basically go, we'll go through that again, file, export, then you're going to go over here, let's just name it Hello Kissy, okay, we're going to name it that, we're going to go to step file, this is important, it has to be a step file, or else it's going to be a little bit harder, and then you hit export, so now it's, now it's there, we're going to pull this up, look and now we're in our step file so let's let's go let's open that so I have just bamboo slicer set as my basic one and again this is a pretty simple setup and we're just gonna keep it giant for now just so that this is easier for you to kind of see and everything and this is just again a simple paint tutorial that I'm not gonna tell you what settings to use I am not an expert when it comes to this stuff. I'm pretty, but I do understand it slightly. So you're basically going to sit here and you're going to see all your components, right? And so you want to paint them um, without having to go into the actual paint. You can just click, right click on this, let's say, and we know that this is going to be white. So you'll go to this and change filament. Bam. Now you've changed that filament to white. That's all the way through. That whole extruded piece is now white. So now let's go to, you know, the next component. Um, I don't have red in, but let's just, we'll just use, we'll just use that for now because that's what I have. So 
um, inside the AMS. And then you just go there and let's just do that, you know? And it's as simple as that. You just go to there and you can change your filament, bam, done. So as you can see, it's pretty straightforward on the way that this is set up. It's pretty easy to do. Um, I definitely think if you follow these steps very simply, you can get to this pretty fast. Um, I know I have a little more experience with like Fusion 360, so it's really easy for me to navigate it. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below or send me a message or anything. Uh, I'm glad to help when I can. Uh, and I appreciate you guys uh, checking out this video and hopefully you learned something. And if not, I'm sorry. Well, have a good day.